Hi, New England Gardening here. Welcome to my channel. I have one of those oil-filled electric heaters in the lean-to, preventing my citrus from freezing. And I was curious as to how much it's costing to have that thing running constantly. It's 1,500 watts, and it does have a thermostat on it, but it's really been running constantly. Uh, the other day it was 99 degrees, believe it or not, in the lean-to. That's what happens on a nice clear day. And it was 50 degrees, but we're having another deep freeze after a rainstorm comes through tonight. But uh, I purchased this kilowatt meter. And this tells you how much it costs to have an individual uh, appliance on. So I'm going to give this a try. Open this up and take a look inside. So this was around $24 on Amazon and figures right after I buy it the uh, advertised price is like $19 now. So there's a cost associated right off the bat with uh, trying to figure out what's using energy. You have to spend money. So here's what it looks like. Pretty light. Now I noticed on the packaging there's something called an ETL logo here and that's a new safety certification and this product is made in China so hopefully that's not a counterfeit logo that actually means uh, or is actually true to what it represents for this product. I know I've read articles about uh, counterfeit UL labels being intercepted. I'm hoping the only thing I need to do is uh, plug in what I pay per kilowatt hour. So I'm surprised it doesn't have the feature that I thought it was going to have. I thought you would uh, enter in uh, what you pay per kilowatt hour and then you would just press a button later on or any moment in time and it would tell you how much uh, that appliance has cost you uh, to date. Uh, so you just plug this in and there's a timer in here and it starts measuring uh, the kilowatt hour usage and you have to do the calculation yourself. It, it just keeps track of the total kilowatt hours used by that particular appliance that you have plugged into it. But uh, it still will give you some useful information, so I'm going to plug this into the, the heater and see how many kilowatt hours it uses. So I really need to wire some multiple outlets into this lean-to here. Uh, one of the things, if you're going to plug this into a, a power strip, it's going to block, you know, a lot of these, well look at that, yeah, it'll block a lot of the uh, outlets. So they have these short extension cords. And if you're making multiple measurements, I guess they think you're going to buy one of these for each appliance, which you don't really need to do. You just plug in these one of these small extension cords. And as soon as you plug this in, it starts uh, a timer and it starts recording the power usage. So we're going to have like a, I don't know, 30, 40 degree temperature drop in the next couple of days once this uh, storm goes through, counting the wind chill. So let me plug, now we plug the heater into that side. So this here is kilowatt hour. 
voltage, volt amps, amps. Now it's starting to rain. It's really going to pour out today. Volts, eight kilowatt hours. So we'll see how much this costs to keep on. So it's been five days. I plugged this in on the 12th. Today's the 17th and I've used 63.59 kilowatt hours so let me calculate what the cost is for this uh, oil filled heater it's funny if you look this is a a bill from November but this is the rate it's point zero seven two five one one per kilowatt hour and what's interesting is this is what I paid for that month Sixty-one dollars and twenty cents, but look at this. This is just to get the electricity to the house. These are the fees, which are, it's, it's actually more than what I used in electricity. I guess you get charged for being a customer, four dollars, and then there's a uh, distribution charge for the first six hundred kilowatt hours. That's twenty-one twenty-three, and then there was a distribution charge for the next. 244 kilowatt hours transmission charge uh, transition charge transmission charge energy efficiency charge renewable energy charge and that came to sixty three dollars and eighteen cents the total bill was one twenty four thirty eight so I just take this point zero seven two five one one and multiply the 63 point, well it's 63.61 right now. So that came out to four dollars and sixty-one cents. So it's it's about a dollar a day. Like I said, I have it I have the therm, uh, thermostat set so it's pretty much consistently running. We had that warm up when I had it plugged in and it was uh, like 50 degrees outside so it got almost 9900 degrees in here. I had to open up the windows. So this is New England Gardening and this is the kilowatt meter. Gives you an idea of what it costs for uh, any individual appliance you plug into it. So the citrus are hanging in there. I think uh, it's going to be warming up. So we're through the worst. So thanks for watching. See you.